the festival band have been operating in Tala actually next year will be their 30th year in operation. It's a great honour for the band and we've just a small selection of the children here tonight because we didn't want to overpower the occasion. Well, it looks fantastic so far. Obviously, the music downstairs is really setting the atmosphere. And I've just had a quick glance at the list of nominations. It looks very promising. In fact, beside us here, we've got a very promising young gentleman who's listed uh, as one of the nominees. For the Heart of Gold category, and I feel pretty happy to be nominated. Well, I was 30, I'm 32 years with Telecommute School, the, youth, uh, the young lads with the football. And uh, I got involved in the environment, happening out in the environment. Uh, well, basically, it's combining two things I love art and local history. And when you think at Tala has about 4,000 years of history, there's no shortage of images and ideas to inspire the artist. I was looking after my mum because she had an injury with her back, and my sister died, so I was bringing my mum and dad closer together and I was helping them. How do you think this night benefits the Tally community? Well, it gets everyone together, all the wonderful volunteers who keep Tally going, and it's celebrating the people who really keep the show on the road, because without voluntary effort, Tally would be nothing. And over the years, it's gone from being a place where I suppose it felt it was the poor relation, and the reason it was dragged into the place it is today and transformed was, obviously, there was a lot of effort at official level, but the main reason was that people didn't give up volunteers, people in communities, they kept on going and uh, that's why tonight's such a wonderful night, such a great night to meet old friends and new friends and uh, really great, great buzz. And I'm so proud for the 12 months I've had that chain around me, like I actually don't want to give it away.